Hello, job seekers, and happy Sunday. So I'm back again with another tip or a few tips on uh, that could help you out with your resume. So this week, I've been working on clients' resumes, and a question that I'm finding that I get a lot is, if a particular job requires you to have some type of degree um, or, or diploma, how many years of experience should you need, do you need to match the equivalent of said degree, whether the position calls for a um, bachelor's degree in a particular field or a master's degree or, or the equivalent. Okay, so the equivalent, it could vary from uh, business to business. Each one has their own um, set guidelines for that, but there is a general rule that most companies follow. And I'm looking at an article that's from The Balanced Careers, and they were saying that, for example, um, if the job requirement only needed a high school diploma, and hopefully at this point, we all have our high school diplomas or uh, a GED. But if you don't, you'll need four years of work experience to overcome that hurdle. And, and it continues. If the job requires you to have some type of vocational or trade school related, that's the easiest one. You only need one year of related work experience generally to still qualify for whatever position you're going for. So that's really important to know. Now, nowadays, people don't realize like how valuable having a technical or vocational technical degree is. Those type of tech jobs, especially if you're going for like IT, which only requires like um, two years, um, you know, of... of, of, of um, schooling and then you get your certification it by the way if no one knows stands for like information technology but it goes so far so much further than that like the repair of computers every company in the world <laughs> literally needs people who know how to fix computers we need it people we need people who know how to fix the hardware and that's something you don't even have to go to school four years for but i have no people at my job who didn't even have certifications but they did go to school they did have experience with fixing computers and that's what they do they make a really good living at doing that so that's just an um, example i'm giving of a technical degree Technically, you only need one year of experience to, to match the equivalent of that. Now, for um, associate degree, it's pretty much the same thing. You need either four years of experience, depending on the, on the business that you're going for, the position you're going for, or two years of related work experience to match the equivalent of that particular degree. Now, most people, when it comes to bachelor's degrees, they want to know, okay, what do I need? Like, I don't have a college degree. Like, I went to college, but I don't have a college degree, but I have the experience, okay? How much experience do you have? To match the equivalent of a bachelor's degree, you're going to need four additional years of work experience um, on top of whatever the requirements were. So, like, say if they said you needed two years of experience plus a bachelor's degree, you're going to need six years of experience to match the equivalent of that missing uh, degree that you may not have, right? So if a job is, is saying, hey, you need two years of managerial experience, office management experience, and we require you to have a four-year degree. On your resume, like when you're writing it up, you have six years or more of office management experience, you're still in the running. Just make sure that you highlight that in the career highlight section of your resume and it's good to include a cover letter. Oh my goodness, Eureka. I'll do uh, another video later on cover letters, but that's really important to have a cover letter to introduce yourself. It tells you, it tells the, the recruiter or the hiring manager things that you could not put on your resume, that you can explain a little further and why you will be the best fit for the job. Now, everyone is really going for the top. Like, we don't want to just stop at mid-management. We want to move up the ladder because entrepreneurship is not for everyone. Some of us want to build a career. We want to build a life for ourselves through, um, you know, our job that, you know, we're, we're labor for hire. So for a master's degree, if the position requires you to have a master's degree, so many years of experience plus a master's degree, um, you need a high school diploma plus 12 years of experience to match the equivalent of a master's degree. 
So that's why our parents always tell us, hey, go get your education. It's really important for you to get your education because that those degrees will take you further in life. And believe it or not, sometimes college works for people. So I'm not saying that I'm 100% an advocate for college because sometimes it doesn't work for everyone. I know people, again, who've gone to vocational technical schools, have who've gone to junior college, they've gotten their two-year degree, and they are making upwards um, 80, 90 to 100,000 or more because of the field that they chose. Those technical jobs are so extremely important. But I do encourage you to get some type of certification under your belt. If college isn't a thing for you, check out a trade school because that bit of education is the icing on the cake for whatever job you decide to apply for. So I hope this video has been helpful. I know it does help my clients when I'm writing their resumes and they say, hey, Miss Cheryl, I went to school, but I didn't complete college. Don't worry about it. Let's see how many years of work experience you have. We're going to still work your resume to where you will have a shot at an interview. Now, once you get the interview, it's completely up to you. It's completely up to you how you're going to sell your skills because at that point, it's on you. But I hope this video has been helpful. Have a beautiful Sunday and a blessed week, everyone. Until next week, bye-bye.